Hey everyone, this is Johnny. Welcome back to my channel. And I uh, want to talk to you for a couple of minutes on a, uh, on a new acquisition of mine. This is a Rock Island Armory N38 Super. And this is the nickel finish. Now, uh, this is not your normal configuration and you're not going to find this at any store. Uh, what you have here is an individual, an older gentleman, who bought this weapon in the nickel finish, uh, whole complete slide uh, and all and uh, then sent it to Robar and had it refinished, had the slide refinished and uh, I thought this was unique. I'm not a Rock Island fan, not because uh, they, they're not good shooters but because when it comes to resale they really don't hold their value very well. Uh, as far as uh, shooters, you all over YouTube you're going to find a lot of people that are well pleased. Uh, the first ones that showed up on the market you know may have had a fit and finish problem and uh, you know just marks uh, on the tool marks on the inside of the slide uh, they weren't really finished well but uh, last last couple of years Rock Island's putting out uh, some decent stuff and of course for those that don't know Rock Island is made in the Philippines and it's imported uh, to the US and so what this is is uh, this is Rock Island uh, trying to step into uh, Colts territory with their uh, custom shop bright stainless and 38 super and uh, they do a pretty good job uh, Springfield Armory also had one of these in a polished stainless uh, which they don't make any longer and they're really hard to come by but uh, uh, probably the retail on the Colt is about twelve twelve hundred dollars and you can probably find it for about ten ninety nine if you if you uh, look around gun broker in different different places um, but the Rock Island armor, you can ha this can be had for about five hundred dollars, and the reason why I got this is because number one, it being sent to Robar and being finished the way it was, uh, they added also Trigicon night sights, uh, which was a great addition. Anyone who knows this, it has just the front um, sight is just a regular uh, blade, and uh, so it must be uh, tapped out and then redone completely. So there's some work that went into this. Uh, you know, for a $500 weapon, the individual who bought this put 600 bucks in it. Now, you would say, well, who would put $600 into a Rock Island Armory? Well, obviously, this individual did. And um, he had the grips changed out, and then he also um, installed the Smith & Alexander Magwell, which is a real nice Magwell. He bought, uh, this came, didn't come with the factory um, uh, magazine. This is a Wilson Combat magazine that he purchased for it. And so you see the Magwell is very, very nice. Uh, finished just about in the same finish that Robar uses. Uh, is very, very comfortable. Uh, you see the back strap is uh, checkered very, very nicely. And um, so this is this is a nice weapon for what I have in it, which was I traded a, uh, a Glock that I had, um, a used Glock that I picked up fairly cheap and then uh, just uh, rolled it over and purchased this. Uh, Glocks it can be had every single day of the week just about in any gun shop that you go to but uh, you know I'm not gonna send I'm not gonna buy a Rock Island Armory and send it out and get it refinished and, and put all the trouble that this gentleman went through to get this done but I thought that the configuration was so nice that uh, it was worthy of showing the uh, Nickel finish is nice. Uh, you know, if you got light scratches on it, sometimes you, if you look on uh, on Gunbroker, you'll find a lot of them for sale. And then, as you see the pictures, they kind of have these um, these fine line scratches that seem, you know, to come up when the light is hitting them just right. But with a little bit of polish, uh, you know, metal polish, they look awesome, and they're great, great shooters. And so I'm going to turn this around and, and let you see it from the front very nice finish and uh, you see the uh, uh, the muzzle is is crowned on that very very nice and so uh, just want to take a couple of minutes to show this to you and I probably got my fingerprints on it and I don't know if you can uh, you can see that at all but I'm gonna turn around and let you take a look at the other side 30H Super as you know already is uh, my favorite uh, round and uh, there's some of my fingerprints right there um, but uh, it, it, my favorite simply because it's just such a flat shooter. Uh, just great to handle. And so if you're looking for something different 
why don't you try out the 38 Super? They also have this in the mil spec, uh, and you can probably find it under $400. And for what you have it and what it's for, just to plink around, and uh, uh, you know, you, it's it's a fun, fun gun to shoot. So appreciate you taking the time coming back to my channel again, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Thank you.